Hi, you alright? Welcome back to the workshop. Um, I know it's been a long, long time. I just sort of dropped everything for a while. Uh, you know, I mentioned in a video before, just busy, change of job. <laughs> Wound up in hospital, blinding one eye. But fortunately, that's healed. Uh, sorry for another time, but um, I've decided to get back on things. Uh, people comment in, in one of the videos. Um, get back started on the the reaper at some point this year or well, hopefully next month or two find some space get on with things um, finally after a long time I've got a 3D printer set up which is what's sat in front of you I went from having the Maplin printer that every wire needed soldering it took 20 hours to assemble countless hours of headache troubleshooting eventually rage quit on it sold it I could power it up, couldn't get anything running. And got this. Half the price, took four hours to assemble, and it worked. First click of the button. Um, I mean, there it goes. Just printing off some little updates for this printer, a little filament holder. Still printing out pretty rough. I've not um, calibrated anything on it at the moment. It's just as is, out of the box. Um, had one error. One not work. And that... Uh, Fell off its off its table whilst printing, and just cut it to the big phone. But quite well, some nice prints. Uh, little figure printed for the kids. They like Baymax, a big Hero Six. If you ever seen that, uh, printing some updates. And I've been looking at the way it prints. So I'm printing stuff off for the Talon, off the top hatch with a couple of fin uh, a couple of vents on it, and over here, engine vent, well, motor mount vent cover yeah don't think it'll do right much but it looks cool just something to print and just see how the printer comes but I just thought I'd give you a bit of a heads up that I'm going to be back on the videos regularly has this worked? yeah I think it's going alright um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't always stick to this properly but again it's all about working out the calibration getting temperatures right making sure the tape's grippy enough with the learning curve I mean some of the parts look really rough, but I'm happy with them. They've come out, they work, it's great. It's a good fun. Uh, I've got a big file on my computer already of stuff to print once it's calibrated. Uh, maybe use it for printing a gimbal for the Reaper. And other just little bits and pieces that aren't going to need high stress areas. And I want to print out a 3D Labs print plane as well. Uh, yeah, it's, they look really cool, so definitely want one. I just thought I'd give you just a few minutes of video. Whilst I'm watching this thing print, it says it's hip not totally hypnotic. <laughs> I spent ages watching it rather than actually doing anything. Um, a little bit of a review on the printer as well, because if you ever want to get in 3D printing, I've not come across. You know, this is amazing. It's str almost out of the box. A couple of hours assembly, faultless. It was brilliant. I really enjoyed putting this together. Calibrating it was easy. You know, it's got a lot of fine tuning to be done, but. As you can see, out of the box prints were manageable. <laughs> they look okay. That look brilliant for out of the box. Um, yes, I promise I'll be back with regular videos this year. Uh, you know, it's just nice to have uh, people bugging me, saying, when am I going to get on with it? Because keep bugging me, I'll get on with it. And a lot of other stuff as well. Especially now I've got this. Um, we're not working in the foundry anymore with a pattern shop. Uh, not having access to massive three foot sanding wheels and stuff I've got to dig, dig out my scroll saw and you know make patterns do a bit of resin casting and stuff yeah I haven't done that in quite a while but yeah I'll be back on it with stuff yeah we'll be working on kids RC tanks yeah, yeah playing back on the other planes get the talent finished as I've, I've now found somewhere that sells um, spare V-tails because I could not find it anywhere to get me a V-tail even the distributor who I got my talent off couldn't get me one um, they, when they spoke to the company, they just sent another full wing, as I mentioned in the video. But now somebody's put me in. Uh, they said Banggood had some in. Seven, eight dollars. Come seven, eight dollars or seven or eight quid. Uh, yeah, just waiting for it to arrive. Great. You know, ends in sight. Just need some connectors. Put everything together. Get it all calibrated and set up, and get it flying. Because there's been some amazing flying days over Christmas and just before Christmas. 
cloud inversion days where guys on Facebook were just putting up amazing videos of just drone, all the quads and planes and stuff just skimming clouds up round all the landmarks around here and in the peaks. Um, I was really envious because I wasn't flying. But anyway, I'll get on with you yeah, this week, next week, get a review of this, other stuff up. Promise, I'll keep up with it now. And I'll catch you all next time. Yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see more. It'll always help the channel out. You know, comments, likes, everything helps. Especially with the way that uh, YouTube's been messing a lot of people around. I mean, yeah, I haven't got 100. Yeah, I've got eight, eight, 18 subscribers. Yeah, bottom of the pile. But no matter whether it's 800, 8,000. Yeah, you know, they've been messing a lot of people around over the past few months, losing subscribers and stuff. So the more interaction, the better. I'll, I'll keep up with it, promise. I'll catch you next time.